Happy Monday, y'all. Hope you guys all had a great weekend. First and foremost, this is the third week of me doing vlogs every day. Um, and I appreciate all the love, all the views, all the comments, all the thumbs up on all the videos. Shout out to y'all. Thank you so much for all the support. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying this content. Um, just wanted to do something a little bit different and give a little bit more insight than just regular tips and trips. <laughs> tips and tricks. A um, little bit more personal style. Um, it's Thanksgiving week uh, here in America. So it can either go two ways really, right? Um, for DJs out there, either it'll be a busier week because a lot of people will be in town. Um, they do want to party on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and the weekend after. Uh, or uh, it could be pretty light for some DJs out there where, you know, a lot of people leave wherever they're staying and um, your gigs can be kind of light. And speaking on that, uh, this past weekend here in Vegas was F1, uh, giant uh, professional pro race, professional, race? I don't know how to, to word that, but anyways, giant international event, but for my gigs this past weekend, it was actually really light. Uh, there wasn't that many people out. Um, I noticed it on Friday and uh, Saturday was a little bit better, but definitely on Friday, um, everywhere was just not as packed as it usually was and i got to attribute that to uh, the price of hotel rooms in vegas for this past weekend because it was f1 were astronomical they're a lot more expensive than they usually are and i think that led to a lot of people just skipping vegas uh for this past weekend um, if they had you know trips planned in november and that's the one thing about this city uh, and DJing in this city is that it's a pretty transient city, meaning you get a lot of uh, out-of-towners, a lot of tourists. Now, while most of my residencies, uh, the ones in downtown, you get a good share of locals, but can't help but have a big chunk of the people that come to the clubs that I play uh, be from out of town. and. They were noticeably missing uh, this past weekend, um, but still made the most of it, still uh, did my job as well as I could. Um, you know, I enjoy playing those kind of nights here and there. I mean, everybody loves playing to a packed club, right? But there's a certain challenge as a DJ to play a room that's not full and a room that you know isn't gonna get full. Um, with Commonwealth, um, because I'm playing outside on the roof, I get to see the, the foot traffic outside. And a lot of times I could tell if the night's gonna pick up or if it's gonna kinda stay uh, however. And um, I like playing those kind of nights where it's a little little thin, a little, little light, because it gives me the opportunity to really test my DJing. Now, what I mean by that is, uh, just like many seasoned DJs will say, the primetime DJ set can, get, can be kind of easy because, <clears throat> now I'm not saying that's always the case, but a primetime DJ set, you know that the crowd's gonna wanna hear the hits of whatever genre room you're playing. Um, so you can fill in a lot of your set time with that now, how you do it and how you flip it is what makes the difference between a, a bad, good, and a great DJ, right? It's the creativity part of it. Now, when the same thing could be said when the room's full. Uh, when the room's full, energy's going to be higher. You can play the hits and you know that you're going to get that response from the crowd. And just like if you've been to a big event, you'll know that if the energy is really good, uh, with the people in the crowd, then they'll more, more likely than not, they're going to have a better time just because they see other people around them uh, having fun. Now, when the room is light, it can be a little bit more difficult. And uh, just me personally, in the way I DJ, I feed off of the energy of the crowd quite a bit. 
So when I don't get that response or when there's not that many people there, you can really kind of get in your own head. I know I do sometimes like, man, am I doing okay? You know, you start doubting yourself. You start doubting the decisions you're making and how you're mixing songs. And that's probably one of the worst things you can do as a DJ. Just get in your head too much and take yourself out of the space of, you know, knowing what you're doing and knowing that you're there for a reason that you can, you know, kill the room in the in a good way. Uh, but now, after years of doing this, uh, seeing getting to play a room that's not that packed, instead of getting into my head, which I still do sometimes, I try to take it as a challenge and figure out the room, and I get to try things a little bit differently. Maybe I'll you know play a little bit slower, meaning like I'll let songs ride and breathe a little bit more, you know take some chances that I normally wouldn't when it's super packed and I know how to get to, you know, max energy. Um, just experimenting and trying things and using the opportunity as a way to improve another part of my DJing, right? Um, if you're getting paid to play, if you're getting paid to DJ, first and foremost, that's a blessing. You know, that's an opportunity that thousands of people, uh, no matter where you're playing, there's so many DJs out there that would just love the ability to play a gig. And it's hard, or I should say, it's easy to lose sight of that sometimes, uh, you know, when you're doing this full time. But having that gratitude with yourself uh, and having that gratitude for the, uh, the opportunity that you have should still remain and still be paramount, right? Because, uh, you know, it's... A special thing that people want to hear you perform in any way, no matter what you do, uh, be it music, art, etc. And even when you know the room might be a little light, might be a little bit dead, I, changing my mindset to, you know, I'm here for a reason. I'm blessed to be here to begin with. Now let's make the most of it. And how can I use this experience to improve part of what I do? And just keeping that in my mind instead of doubting myself, or at least trying to do that, has really changed the way that I look at a Lightroom. I, I know there's lots of DJs out there, uh, myself included, that would rather play a busy room. But when you don't get that chance and the room is light, you know, might be a little bit dead, just kind of keep that in mind that it's a blessing that you're there and it's a chance to do something maybe you wouldn't normally do in your DJ sets and use it as a way to live test different things that you would you'd normally do in your sets. Um, use it as an opportunity to uh, you know, take risks, take chances, and also just use it as an opportunity, most importantly, use it as an opportunity to remain humble and grounded and remember that it's a blessing that you're there in the first place. All right, y'all. Catch you tomorrow.